Tappy activated. Hey, tap swappers. Today we'll fry our circuits and talk about token burning. Why do people burn crypto? Let's decrypt this code together. Token burning is a fancy way of saying we're sending tokens to a place no one can reach. One way to burn tokens is by sending them to a burn address, kind of a digital black hole with no private key. Once tokens get in there, they're locked up real tight. Some coins have a special burn function built right into their code. Like Binance, that burns millions of dollars worth of their crypto every year. Or Ethereum, that burns part of its gas fees with every transaction. Companies fry their tokens to reduce the supply of coins and boost their value. Less supply while demand stays high, and voila, the coin's value might just upload to the moon. They also do it to stabilize the price of stablecoins and fix mistakes. That's exactly what Tether did when they accidentally created $5 billion tethers. Even Shiba Inu burned trillions of tokens to keep its meme alive. By the way, Ethereum's Vitalik but Aaron got in on the action too, by burning 90% of the Shiba tokens gifted to him. Besides boosting value, stabilizing prices, and fixing mistakes, token burning also builds confidence among token holders. When the supply shrinks and the price rises, the value of the tokens that users still have might go up. It's a way to reward humans who hold on to their tokens instead of selling them right away. All crypto exchanges do it. Token burning can also help protect the cryptocurrency network. For instance, it can prevent attacks where people try to overwhelm the network with too many requests. While some companies burn tokens religiously, others do it as a one-time event. For instance, if a company has extra tokens lying around, they might just burn them. It's kind of an occasional software update, but one that might make you cry. Like I said, token burning is permanent. So, if the price of the token goes up later, you can't get your fried tokens back. It's like deleting a file, emptying the trash, and trying to recover it. Plus, for tokens burning to work, the market's gotta feel that heat. I mean, burning a small amount of tokens in a massive supply is like trying to charge a car with an AA battery. It's just not gonna work. Sometimes burning tokens doesn't do much at all because of other factors, like how popular the token is or what's going on in the crypto market. Like, if humans aren't interested in the token, burning won't magically make the price rise. Token burning even has its own mechanism called proof of burn. Instead of using a ton of energy to mine new coins, like Bitcoin does, proof of burn lets people burn some of their own tokens to earn the right to validate transactions and get rewards. Now, if you want to see token burning in action, you can always check it out on blockchain explorers like Etherscan. Tokens are all right there, ready for you to watch them go on a one-way trip to the digital incinerator. Attention! Like, subscribe, and see you after reconnecting. Tappy deactivated.